Up next, it's a featherweight matchup between Darren the Damage Elkins and Bruce Lee. All right, so here we go. The weight and the height gives way to the action right here on one side. Maybe the division's most well-rounded fighter taking on arguably the biggest submission threat in this division. Because he's such a great submission grappler, I believe that this is the most dangerous fight for him in the division. Wow. He needs to maintain his space, stay away from this guy at all costs, and force Whoa! him to stand up. Oh! Storming like a fish out of water now. The ground and pound is on point. This could very well be the beginning of the end. This could be the beginning of the end. We've seen some really good ground and pound fighters. This young man is as good as any we've ever seen. Elkins gets caught with that punch. His chin is held up thus far. He's got to shore up the defense here, though. And some nice defensive work being put in by Darren Elkins. Right hand punch from the clinch. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Beautiful takedown from the land. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Oh, nice right hand. All right, working inside the closed guard now. Well, any time you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire little cut below that left eye. He jumps on a headlock. We call this in wrestling just a headlock. And if you're not careful, you can get stuck in an arm triangle. Watch triangle, watch triangle. There he is, he's moving to the finishing position. Now watch, he goes parallel right next to the And he's out. Man, isn't it fun to watch this dude work on the mat? He's unbelievable how fluid he is in his motions on the mat. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. All right, good movement by him here on the ground. He really is a master of these transitions. He is a master of movement on the ground. You never know where he's going to be. All right, so you gotta be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't wanna mess around for too long. Oh, and he's able to land a strike there from the bottom. Nicely done by Lee. Well, you know I don't like the gi very much, but I have an appreciation and a healthy one for these type of transitions. You can tell he's been in the gi at some point in his life with the way that he moves so freely. I'm skipping jujitsu next week, too. <laughs> well, the ground and pound has been on point tonight. Good work here by Elkins. Five minutes in the books. So the crowd voicing its appreciation after that round. We had a knockdown courtesy of a punch midway through. DC, here's your highlight. It was straight. He threw him in combination and landed that big punch that really did hurt his opponent. Lesser men would have been done. He's got a tough guy in front of him. He will have to go back to this again. He will have to get back to this action if he wants to get the desired finish. Round two is underway. Nice punch by Lee. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends a nice entry directly into the finish. Nice takedown. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent, you gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Lands with the ground and pound. Oh, right in the mount. Ah, 
I mean, how many can he take? Well, the ground and pound is there once again. Strong work here by Elkins. Oh, looks like he's transitioning to an armbar. You cannot stay in the guard of these great jiu-jitsu guys. He's gonna tag armbar here. You gotta recognize that when a guy starts to put his feet on your hips, you gotta move him off and you gotta cover. You can't be off to an angle. And this might just be a matter of time. Wow. All right, full guard here, DC. We'll see how soon he tries to pass. Well, he needs to be passing immediately. In the full guard is where you are in most danger as a top fighter because they have all of their submissions. Right. They have the guillotine. They have the armbar. They have the kimuras. They have all their locks when they're in the full guard. So if you pass, you really do limit the danger that you're in from the top position. Oh, he's got the knee on the belly. Could be trouble defensively. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. All right, working out of side control here. His opponent trying to control posture, but you got to be careful here. All right, side control now. Oh, he's got him in a crucifix now, DC. We've seen you go to this a couple times, no? This is one of my favorite techniques. I got Volkan Ozdemir here, and I just landed punch after punch after punch. They didn't have to be hard, but if you can land 30, 40 strikes in a row, the referee will have no choice but to finish the fight. All right, 20 seconds to go in the round. Man, that cut is just getting worse by the minute. Rated R tonight. All right, that's the end of round number two. So for one fighter, the round mercifully comes to an end as we look back at some of the action. What a display of ground and pound. It's his calling card. It's exactly what he's known for. He's known as a brutal ground and pound fighter, and he showed you just then why he's known as that in the MMA sphere. He's the guy that if he gets you down, he will dominate you with positioning and brutal, nasty ground and pound. Nice, stupid punch. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Wow, actually got the takedown. Elkins gets the double leg takedown now. The ground and pound has been there all night. All right, he continues to bully his opponent here, really manhandling him on the ground. All right, so he's got the body locked down here, DC, or so it appears. This is not a guy you want anywhere near your back. Beautiful movement, hip work on the ground here, just outstanding with the transition. He is not staying in one place on the ground, and that's very important. Well, not ideal to spend this much time on the bottom, but you can't fault him for his activity. Landing strikes here from the bottom. Nice work by Lee. Side control now. Lee's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. And now he has a headlock trying to pin his opponent's back down flat onto the mat. Look from the transition to an arm triangle to try to chase the finish. Watch triangle, watch triangle. needs to push the arm to the side, get his head against the mat. Now watch as he goes to the finish. Watch his chest. Now he's okay. Now he can escape. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Right the side control, yep. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. 
Well, he's staying pretty effective here, fighting off of his back. Nice strike landed there by the bottom by Leaf. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. All right, so pretty good damage here with the ground and pound. Nothing superficial about these strikes. They are intending to harm. Oh, yeah, he's landing very accurately, and he's landing to get damage off. All right, so he's got him in the north-south position now, DC. Oh, he's attacking choke now. He's got his chin in, but now it's starting to slip under the neck. There it is. 